Got we never. Everything we've got. That's what I mean. We've had. To survive anything in this yeah, van. we've got back up everything in this van, we've so we've prepared power, we've back up power and everything. Yeah. Clothes, well done. Clothes, everything. Yeah, we've got back up everything. <laughs> everything we've got, we've got like double of. So we're definitely prepared. <laughs> everything we've got, we've got like double of. So we're definitely prepared. So we had the central heating on last night. Because all of our pipes froze, all of our water has frozen. Um, we need some big, we're hopefully some big like five litre bottles because our water's frozen. Great. And our toilet's frozen. <laughs> That's a chat for another day. We've Fair. just been able to have some drink because they froze on the way home. <laughs> they actually froze properly. shower. We're able to wash, properly wash, but we can't like wash all of our hairs because our hairs are too long, it would take up too much water here. last no. night which is why we came here last night and unfortunately it is fully fully shut for the winter it doesn't open actually until the end of March which is really sad because this time of year is the probably the most spectacular time to go and see this fjord um, and we've spent an, an hour this morning looking at campsites and every single one we found is closed Chris Singham drove home from Sweden to get his MOT done that's right, whilst he was in Sweden, his MOT magically was passed from previously having not had an MOT driving all the way out to Scandinavia. He decided to drive home, get his MOT done and drive all the way back to meet his family where he'd left them in Sweden. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That's right, the super prepared Inghams are having one or two teething problems, I feel, over in yonder Norway, right? So it's going well, Chris. It's certainly going well. So if anybody else would like to follow them to Sweden, follow their guide, you know, probably best clear of Chris and Sarah's um, expertise on this one. So... Let's get right into this video to see how they are faring today. Good morning, iPhone. Welcome to today's vlog. We've got a bit of a cuffled morning this morning. We're trying to find a campsite to stay at last night because we all need to get proper showers. I'm sorry, you haven't had a shower since since when, Sarah? You still haven't had it right, so for anybody that's interested, right, seven vlogs ago was when they left the last Airbnb. Remember they stayed in the Airbnb in Sweden? That was seven vlogs ago, right? That equates to seven days. And one one day they've missed out as well, aren't they? Because they don't vlog on one day. So that's eight days ago. Am I getting this right? Because that sounds an awful lot. Here in the van, our water has frozen and it's making it difficult to properly shower. We're able to wash, properly wash, but we can't like wash all of our hairs because our hairs are too long, it would take up too much water. But your water's frozen. Am, am I right in thinking that? So how are you properly washing? Um, I mean, properly washing like eight days in a row, head to toe, you know, even if you can't wash your hair, hairs, as you say, you know, it just feels like it's not happening. I feel like that's not a thing. It's not happening, is it, Sarah? Not only that, but yeah, everything everything's just frozen, basically. And it's making it a bit difficult. So we've been really trying annoying. to find, it's really annoying. We've been trying to find a campsite. We tried to find one last night, but we couldn't find one. Um, and we've spent an, an hour this morning looking at campsites and every single one we've found is closed. It's almost as if it's out of season or something, Sarah. <laughs> Who would have thought it, right? Until May. Was it May 10th, he said? Every single one. We've even tried hostels. They're closed. We didn't struggle last time at all. We didn't struggle at, at all last time. Maybe it's just the part of Norway we're in. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so then I was like, well, what about like an Airbnb just for a night? But the minimum stays in, some of, in most of the ones that we've found are three nights. And what was the cheapest rate? £777. <laughs> £777, which I'd rather just have greasy hair. Not gonna lie. Oi, and Sarah, you have greasy hair. If you want to have greasy hair, I'll have greasy hair, right, innit? But what about your kids? Ever thought of what they might want to do? 
Right, so you won't pay £777. You'd rather have greasy air, but uh, let's try and whittle this down a smidge, shall we? Crunch the numbers, if you will. So that's £777 in total for three nights stay. That's 259 quid per night. If you divide that then by the eight of you who are staying there, that, e that equals £32.37 pence of your finest pennies per person per night. Oh, dearie me, that sounds a lot of money, isn't it? Mr. 10K can't afford 32 quid per child so that they can have a nice wash and a shower. Okay, now, hard taskmaster, isn't he? So, yeah, that's what we're basically doing this morning. We're struggling to find a campsite. We're still looking now, but I don't think we're going to get one in this area. I think we need to drive a decent, a decent amount away um, to get a campsite. I hate to be the one to break this to you, Sarah, but you have known about this situation for several days now. You must have known that you must... Well, you're going to need a shower at some point, right? And uh, you could have like booked somewhere, even a little bit further away, you know, just to drive, drive, get there and, you know, do that. But I'm sure that somewhere in Norway they have places to stay, right? I'm certain of it. Maybe not where you are right now, but they will have them. But it takes a little bit of planning, doesn't it? Not all this, you know, doing things off the cuff and, you know, oh, it's so exciting. Not knowing which day is up and what day is when and everything else. That's so exciting. But when you've got a three-month-old, it's not so exciting, is it? Anyway, I've decided this morning we're going to make some toast. So we've got some toast cooking under here. Oh, yes, look. Toast cooking? Does toast cook, everybody? Does, does it does it cook or is it just me that toasts toast? You know, well, you toast bread technically, don't you? But um, I've never heard the term, I'm going to cook some toast. <laughs> look at that. Thank you to Mila for refusing any other form of breakfast this morning except toast, so pushing us to make it. Also, I... Wow, that must have been such a hard life. Hard times, eh, Sarah? Hard times. That damn two-year-old pushed us to make toast. We don't usually get the bread out the packet and put it in the toaster and everything, right? My God. Usually we just have it there. We have our pancakes and our waffles. We, you know, we don't even take them out of the packets. We just wait. And then we open the packet and then put uh, put it in our gob and things like that, right? We don't usually go as far as cooking the toast on a daily basis. I swear, if you guys don't tell me when I've got mascara, not you guys, you guys. I... Thanks for the clarification there, Sarah. You know, otherwise I thought you might have been talking to me. On my face when I'm vlogging. If you... no! I've... The last few vlogs, I'm so embarrassed when I look back because... <laughs> Have we got a cup? No. I'm gonna go ask him co-op here. It's not a co op, a co -op. It's a co -op. or a co-op. It's actually a coop. It's a co-op. It's a coop. Look, if you're from England, it's co-op. We're off to <laughs> co-op to get a bag of Chris. I guarantee nobody says co-op for Chris. Um, we should turn this over. from Leeds. A co-op. A co-op. I, I, I don't know, right? I, I don't want to offend anybody, right? But... <laughs> Does anybody say that? Anybody, right? Because to me, it just sounds a smidge... I don't know. I don't know. It sounds special, right? It just sounds special. Also, Chris, your lovely wife, she's also from Leeds, and she's saying it's not quap. I'm going to quap. And I'm going to... Oh, no, I'm going to offend people if I do <laughs> Sorry. I know a lot of you are from Leeds who are watching, so please accept my apologies for my stupidity. But um, no, no, to me it's n no, it's not. But Sarah, I have to also say it's not. It's also not a coop, right? <laughs> it's actually a co-op. I, I don't. I don't know. Was I was I brought up differently to everybody else because I don't feel like I ever would call it a coop or a quap. Definitely not a quap. <laughs> it's not even a coop. So, I don't know. No, you don't. Hey, Mosh, we have to quack to get some Chris. You've just offended. And a can of pop. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've uh. just offended half of Leeds. I didn't, because I'm from Leeds, so I'm allowed to do that. Right. 
Well, I'm not too sure that's exactly how it goes. Just because you're from Leeds, you're allowed to offend the rest of Leeds. It's like saying, you know, oh, I suffer from mental health problems, so I can take the piss out of the mental health people, right? You can't do that, really, can you? <laughs> but apparently, Chris, he, he can um, he can go to a quap to get crisps or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, weirdo. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh yeah, my mask out. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed. Every single vlog. Why is it doing that as well? Is it? I don't know if it's the face products I'm using which makes my face. She's just dusty and greasy. Shut up. Don't listen to him, Sarah. Your face is lovely. It's not dusty nor greasy, right? <laughs> well, actually, it might be a bit greasy. I don't know about the dust though. I don't know where he's got that from, right? It's not dusty. It's just musky, right? I don't know if it's the mascara. I don't know oh, what the reason is. That's true love right there, guys. Look at how Chris is fondling his wife and, you know, making her feel special. It's so, so lovely. It's so lovely. I can't think of a lovelier pair that deserve each other more, right? Can you? No, you can't do that. Ah, uh, you tell him. Tell him, Sarah, tell him. He can't do that. He can't get around you that way with his sexy charms, you know, and all his sexy machismo ways <laughs> and he's um he's not gonna get you into bed like that is he he's gonna have to beg um but yeah i've constantly got mascara all over my face speaking of true love um i would like to just like to take a smidgen of a break to announce that it is in fact today valentine's day that's right as you're watching this hopefully you're watching it today you might be watching it tomorrow but it is valentine's day so i'd like to wish everybody a happy valentine's day you know all the women in my <laughs> All the, all the ladies and all the gentlemen right you all deserve the best of the best right not sarah though she, she 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 deserves what she's got right she deserves chris i don't know why where can i shower can i use your bathroom no Dad, i need a shower now i thought i was gonna say something else then <laughs> can i use your bathroom i need a shower of course not chris you don't do stuff like that you're like a um a princess that just never, <laughs> you're perfect. You would never do. Away from you in a minute, but basically, um, we're just making a plan about where we're going to be, um, and I, I think we're going to be in. So you're, you're open today and you're open tomorrow, are you? Lovely, lovely. Were you just about to say lovely, jubbly <laughs> to the lovely Norwegian? <laughs> Classic. Do you have like do you have do you have do you have hot showers and washing facilities? Lovely, that's fantastic. All right, thank you so much. I'll I'll let you know shortly um, whether it'll be tonight or tomorrow night. But thank you very much. Thanks. Bye bye. How far away is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. two and a half hours away. It's not going to be tomorrow night, is it then? No, but I'm just trying to work out whether it's best to go to Charles Deegan today and fill that, and then go there tomorrow. Today's gone from bad to worse. So. As of right now, it's been around about seven or eight days, right, since they've had a shower and Chris is even still debating whether or not it's best to go and have the shower tomorrow or not. So we've driven this drive to get to a ferry. Now this ferry is, a, is through one of the most breathtaking fjords. Is it the biggest fjord? Yes. Yeah, one of the jewel, biggest. Right? It's the crown jewel of Norway. That's what it's called. And this ferry is like a really cool experience it's like an hour and a half long it's got the highest what's it got the highest mountain sides of any other fjord than any other fjord waterfalls it's got waterfalls it's and a, we're like oh that's gonna be it's spectacular it's the ferry to Gironja. yeah so we've driven here we're at the ferry port now like we're gonna get on this in the morning this was last night we'll get on in the morning we've got off this morning and it's shut <laughs> even though google says it's open so damn that google oh <laughs> i'm sorry sarah but when you google something you need to kind of trust the site that you're looking at with the information and not just the fact that it's google it must be on google so it must be right we've driven here to do a ferry that we can't do what was the troll stegan is it troll stegan the, the pass that we're gonna do um 
No, that's the, that's the on from here. Yeah, that's the, that's the next thing. See, I'm Hang on a second, Chris, what does that say? It's only open in the summer months. <laughs> Couldn't write this, could you? Couldn't write it at all. So you're complaining that something shut and you were going to go and do this road thing, this this mad road thing, and uh, it, it actually says in your research that it's shut. So <laughs> it seems a little bit pointless, I don't know. Acting like I know what I'm talking about, but I actually don't. I was right. Troll Stegan is a hairpin mountain pass ride. I'm going to pop a picture up because I really wanted to do it and now we can't do it. So you guys will still be able to see it. I'll pop a picture up here. It's meant to be a spectacular road. Toast is burning. Give me a minute. So we've just had a few minutes to just sit and reevaluate what we're doing. So we're going to drive to a campsite, which is about two and a half hours away. The closest one. We think we are. What are the other options? No, I don't know, to be honest. Well, <laughs> the priority is a campsite, yeah, so if there's go, no other options watch. that you've got, then we're going to a campsite. Yeah. And then from there, we're very close to, it's very near the Atlantic Highway, which we weren't actually planning on doing this time, but I think we might because it's only about 20, 30 minutes from the campsite. Well, you may as well, obviously, because, you know, you've done everything else that you did last time, you may as well add this to the list of things that are not different but different and are not different but different Extremely that was close doing that. To it. and it is a very cool thing to see we did see it last time we came but it is epic no but we had last time we came we did see it but it was gusty winds it was wasn't it? horrific winds on both days so i couldn't film it properly so it was did we drone it we did on one day yeah but it wasn't good it was really difficult remember you had to drive the sprinter and i had to like fight with the yeah, drone to, make, to so. make it good because it was so well, windy you won't be doing this this time mate won't be doing that this time i think i've got a aura. uh so i think that's the plan but first i messed up i was supposed to show my toast the last clip it was supposed to go but first toast and show the toast but i forgot what are you all watching as me play Mom, yes remember the game we used to play we play, we used to play this no. game called scary teacher or something and you have to go like into the house and the scary teacher chases you and i'm just playing it again what did you say jc boy what what were you saying oh i'm just saying we were playing this really scary game but we played out first and it was so scary the, the, the teacher saw us and we were Wow, that is so cool. These two have literally been sat here for about an hour now. Find a Just completely mesmerised by Esme's a game. A firecracker. Wow, I'm coming, Is Cutie. Little pup. I Hello. love you. Chickaboo. <laughs> what have we done, Isabel? What do we have what have we done? We've booked a campsite. Yay! I'm going to show first. <laughs> so where we stayed last night, where we are right now, is the town of Helisilt. I keep looking up on Google how you pronounce this properly so that I don't get rinsed too bad. But the Google said Helisilt, H-E-L-L-E-S-Y-L-T. -E -L -L -E so this is basically the gateway to Garanja Fjord, which is like the jewel, the crown jewel of the fjords in Norway. And what you can do is a cruise from right here, you just drive your motor on, your car on, and it's an hour and 15 minute ferry all the way up the fjord here, all the way to Garanja, if that's pronounced right, I'm so sorry if it's not, Garanja, Garanja, fjord town, and you go all the way up the fjord and you see all the waterfalls and you see the incredible mountains either side. Unfortunately, Google told us yesterday that it was running and it was all good. Google Maps did as well. Uh, my sat nav, my TomTom -tom sat nav told me it was all good and we'd be able to cross the ferry here last night, which is why we came here last night. And unfortunately, it is fully, fully shut for the winter. Okay, so it seems a bit odd that all these things would say that it was open, right? When it's not open, but you didn't actually research any actual websites to see like reviews and things like that because it feels like if it's closed right now, it's closed for a reason. And that's because it's maybe dangerous or something like that during this time of year. So people who have been on it probably know this. 
you know, so looking at sat navs and things like that, they're not going to have this information. It doesn't open actually until the end of March, which is really sad because this time of year is the probably the most spectacular time to go and see this fjord. Which is what I was saying before. It feels like it's closed at this time of year for a reason, right? And that's because it's maybe dangerous. Maybe it's just out of season. Nobody comes at this time of year. But for him to say that this time of year is the best time to go, it clearly isn't because nobody else does go at this time of year. Especially traveling by boat down it when you can look up at all the waterfalls and the mountains. It's just unbelievable. So I'm really sad about that. So we are obviously taking a detour now to this campsite in one of the main cities on the coast called Mold. M-O-L-D-E, I'm sorry if it's not spelt. If it's not pronounced right, I'm not meaning to like offend anybody. It's just <laughs> the Norwegian lady in the co-op told me here it's pronounced mold. Did the <laughs> the Norwegian lady in the co-op um, told him that it's pronounced mold? <laughs> I don't 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 know where to how to unpack that entirely. But Chris, it's not difficult, right? You've been in that country for how many days, right? You've clearly studied the language and the how thi how things are pronounced. What I'm trying to get at, right? Each language has a certain way about them. I don't know how to describe it. I'm sorry. Um, like you know that the e on the end of molder isn't pronounced, isn't a silent e, right? It's never going to be because you know that in Norway they don't pronounce. They don't have the silent E's. Am I making any sense? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's pronounced Mulder, right? Because every E, like, you know, you just know, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know how to describe it. You know, right? You should know. Anyway, my point here, Chris, is that you've been in the country several days now and you haven't looked up, you haven't been talking in or... or pronouncing any words while you're there you haven't spoken to anybody in in their native tongue or anything like that no so molds where we're heading to m-o-l-d-e actually i was just thinking i can imagine the conversation that he had with the lady in the shop he's probably said to her is how do you pronounce mold 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 how do you pronounce mold mold and she's saying yes yes mold and that's probably what the conversation was, something like that. And that's why we have a campsite book now. But I needed to come and show you this view because I can't believe it. Which makes me even more sad that we're not doing this cruise today now. This is the port where you catch the ferry. I can only imagine how beautiful that must be to cruise down on a day like today. But I guess that's how it's gonna have to stay, right? Imagination, because they don't do it in the winter, so. <laughs> Nobody's seen that in the winter, which is sad. It's definitely sad. Everywhere's closed around here, like literally everywhere. Look at how beautiful this is around me. It's, I don't know if it's white out in this camera or not, but this camera's no good for landscapes. It's great for vlogging, there you go. Sorry, this lens, not the camera. The camera's boss, it's the lens. Anyway, enough complaining about cameras and lenses and all the rest of it. Time to go. But, um, I want to come and show you guys that because it's absolutely fantastic. Look at this snow as well, amazing. <laughs> Bomb. I actually bought a really expensive pair of snow Arctic Uggs to come on this trip with. I haven't worn them once yet because my steel toe cap boots have been like a boss. It's comfy and it's warm. They haven't let me down yet, so. I ain't got no use of mugs right now, but I'm sure as the snow gets deeper, which it will do for definite, they'll be coming out for sure. All right, we ain't getting far today. Not with sights like this every time. We turn around a corner. What? <laughs> this is the fjord that we're missing out on, a cruise on today. But we're getting prime time viewing of it from up here. There's a lookout point up there, I'm gonna go film it. I can't believe how beautiful this is. It's absolutely insane. 
You're going to hear that a lot on this trip, by the way. Apologies. I'll try really hard to think of a few better descriptive words than insane or stunning or beautiful. I'm going to get my dictionary out tonight and work out a few newies. You need more than a dictionary, Chris, to change your life, you know? You're so ingrained in your ways. Waiting on ferry number two of the day. It's just on its way over now. I hope this one doesn't cost as much as the other one. Oh no, it's expensive. Basically, we didn't know. Turn that centre around a minute, second bed. We didn't know how much the ferries were last time we came here, and even this time when we've been here, because you basically just create an account online. There's cameras. I'll show you in a second. And they like get your registration plate, and you've obviously your card details are registered to your account, and they just automatically charge you. We just got on the last boat, which was literally a five minute crossing, wasn't it? It was just literally yes! five minutes over. I'm, I'm like, yes! kind of like, why they're not just build a bridge? But they're obviously raking it in, that's why they're not building a bridge. I feel that's quite aggressive, actually, Sarah. They're obviously raking it in, that's why they're not building a bridge, god damn it, those locals. You know, you're not in your hometown right now, Sarah. You can't just go around throwing these wild accusations about, right? It's not your area, your, your locality. It felt quite, um, you know, aggressive. Because the guy came over to the I car. Mean, let's not make assumptions about why they're making a bridge because you'll only get ripped by somebody. <laughs> I, know, well. I probably will get ripped. Can't um, some of them have, you know, like when you get on buses, some, t well, maybe this is an olden day thing, <laughs> olden day when I was younger, but there used to be like a conductor that'd come around and check your tickets. Well, sometimes the boats have them on, and like a man comes around with like a little machine thing to register your registration plates if you've paid. Um, and if you haven't, you just have to pay on card, which just happened to us. And Chris was like, no, I've got an account online. And he was like, no, no, you've not paid luck. And he showed us a machine. And our internet wasn't loading, was it? To like no. prove that we had an account. So I was like, it's fine, just pay again. So we got our card out to pay. The guy was actually really rude, wasn't he? He was actually quite rude. She can't help it, can she? She actually can't help it. See, Sarah, when you say, oh, you get so much hate and people hate on you all the time and, you know, things like that. But then you do this, the same thing to people on a daily basis, right? There's no need for saying this. The guy was so rude, you know, telling all your thousands and little I fam, you know, that your, your conductor or whatever it was, uh, was just a little bit rude to the famous Ingham family. Um, Chris gave him the card to pay and then he started to put it near the machine and Chris said, like, oh sorry I've given you the wrong card because you just give me that one back and he completely blanked Chris. He was stood right at the window and Chris was like, no, excuse me, I've given you the wrong card. He was blanking you. Hello. So Chris was like, hello, but he was stood right, right, in front, was stood right at the window. Well, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, Sarah, but... Um... He's obviously got wind of Chris Singham and, and his ways and, you know, he's read a little bit of the sun, you know, and he saw, mm, that's that Chris Singham. He's got a bit of a, a thing about him. So, yeah, I'm going to ignore him. That's what he was thinking, you know. He's probably waiting for the good lady to, you know, to, to converse with. You know, I'd, I'd rather serve you as well, Sarah, okay? With the window down. Um, but it was £15 in English money. Maybe more, actually. Maybe £17. And it was a, it was literally a two-minute crossing. Five minutes max. So. Wow. 
Okay. Uh, £15, right, between the eight of you comes to less than £2 each, right? You try getting a bus for less than two quid up the road, right? Ain't going to happen, is it? Not at all. No, it's going to um, cost you mega money. Right, do you actually realise how much... <laughs> how expensive these boats would probably cost to run, right? I'm going to challenge you, Sarah. I'm going to challenge you to crunch the numbers and make it work. Sarah Ingham Tours, right? Norwegian Tours. Sarah Ingham Norwegian Tours. You make it happen for, like, what, 50p? Is that what you're expecting? I don't know, right? Give it a go. Uh, yeah. I wonder if they're all that much, we just don't know, because we're just like... Yeah, maybe. Maybe they're all that price. Anyway, these are the cameras I was meaning. There you go. Those cameras just up there. Kind of get your registration plate as you're going in. Boats just pulling up now, look. Look, Mila, that's the boat we're going on. Can you see it? Yeah. We just saw an advertisement saying that you can get ferries from where we are to Gran Canaria, what are you saying? <laughs> Should we go? Hot, hotter climate. Are you, done, are you done with the cord now? No, I'm not. I love it. Although my knee's done with the cord. I don't know what I've done to my right knee. But really? uh, do you know what? I actually think it's just that I'm old. I feel old. My body feels old. Don't stand for that, Chris. Tell her. Tell her that she looks as young as, as the day that they first met. Tell her, right? She needs to know this from you. Tell her that she looks like the 16-year-old you wish he, she was, right? Technically, I'm not really old, but my knee feels old. I don't know if it's from when we did that hike, because we did it out the mountain. I don't think it's that. I jumped out the van. What day was that? It's not even a big jump. Well, it is when you're carrying my weight. <laughs> I, like, jumped into the snow. I just went straight through. No, I'm joking. I jumped out the van, though, and I jarred my knee. At the time, it didn't really hurt. But the next morning when I got up, I was like, what on earth? And now my knee's like killing me on a walk. Anyway, it's not Valentine's Day today. It's all right. We've got off the, we can stay in the van when you're on furs like this, but we decided to stretch our legs. The girls have just gone to the loo. They're saving hot dogs over there. This smells so good. Okay, I thought it was bacon, but it's not, it's hot dogs. Mila, that's beautiful singing. It's not Valentine's Day today. It's Valentine's Day in a few days time, but by the time you guys are watching this vlog, it's Valentine's Day. From my calculations, hopefully nothing goes wrong because right now we've got no internet to upload tonight's vlog, to set tonight's vlog live. By the time you're watching this, it's hopefully Valentine's Day. And I bought us all some little Valentine's donuts. Is that your gift from Chris? He woke you up in the morning and said, Here, love. Is a bag of donuts for Valentine's Day. Got them from Quop. At one of the shops that we went to. So we're celebrating Valentine's Day with you guys early. With a yeah. nice donut. Guys, this is no exaggeration. We've just drove three hours to use a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag van life in winter. I don't regret it one bit. I can't wait to feel that hot, that hot shower water. I can't wait. And yet you are waiting, aren't you, Sarah? You thought it best to put the camera on first and tell your fans what you're doing before actually getting a shower. Have your kids had a shower yet? You know, your youngest ones, I mean, not the oldest ones. They can take care of themselves. But your youngest ones, you need to help them or you're going to send them out into the, the darkness on their own to go and get a shower. The yeah, girls have already gone, Esme and Isla. We fixed the frozen toilet and potentially the frozen sink in the bathroom. <laughs> toilet's frozen, guys. I can't. Let's just, let's just say, the toilet's frozen, as in the pipes are frozen, so the motor's not working for the flush, so you can't use it. That's why the toilet's frozen. But what they just bought, some heaters, just bought like some heaters and things. no energy heater from a shop, so I've just put it in the bathroom basically plugged in, and it'll just sit there and just heat the pipes up, which I'll hopefully unfreeze them. Because without heating in the van, there's heating... And there is heating in the bathroom actually. Well, there, I'm about there to say there's no heating. There isn't behind the toilet. Not behind That's the why toilet, but frozen, yeah. yeah, there's not behind. The, but there is a radiator in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There is a radiator in here. But like Chris says, there's not one 
at the back where the pipes are so he's taken off the panel like the wooden fascia thing at the back of the toilet to expose the pipes to then put the radiator on it not on it but near it anyway that's hopefully sorted what else did we need to sort whilst we're here uh, we still washing we've got I, loads of washing yeah. to do um i don't think we can sort the water in the kitchen because i don't know where that's frozen i can't i can't yeah tell we where, can't sort. That's frozen. i think when you come on a trip like this and you're exposed to such extreme temperatures you kind of got to expect water to freeze and that it's not really a big deal the water freezing to be honest well, it kind of is. You've each gone at least eight days without a shower, right? So um, that would constitute a bit of a problem, in my opinion. We, in had, the kitchen. we had, like, we had, it froze in the sprinter. Yeah, exactly. It froze, yeah. It so froze it in the sprinter and it wasn't... I mean, it's not the most convenient that you can't use your sink. It's just... But it's not the, the worst thing either. No. You know, we use bottled water. We can wash up when we go to campsites. We use paper plates sometimes if we've not got washing facilities. And we just hand wash everything else with, like, um, bottled water. So it's not that big of a deal. Us now. Us now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... We got to a campsite, we've driven three hours to get here. I'm gonna get two showers, I'm gonna get one tonight and I'm gonna get one in the morning. But first, yeah. I'm gonna cook, are you doing the same? Oh, yeah. I am as well. I'm gonna cook dinner. And tonight, we're using the pot for the first time. And I am stupidly excited to use this. So here's what I'm gonna make. Taco pasta. I found this taco recipe on Pinterest. I am going to adapt it slightly to our own taste. I'm going to add a few ingredients as well, so it's not gonna be the exact one. And I also <laughs> bought these because I know Chris absolutely loves Chris crunchy, crunchy things when we have Mexican type of things. Taco tubs, how cute are they? <coughs> so good. I've got two boxes of taco tubs. Meat is very expensive here in Norway. Chicken breast, I kid you not, in that shop, because I was gonna do a chicken meal and then when I saw the price, I was like, you know Don't what? Did you make it with today? Babe, I've barely got any makeup on because I'm sick to death of filming with mascara all the way up here. So I barely. <laughs> you were stressed about that, were you today? I was so stressed. I was like, that vlog's not going up. <laughs> no. And I was like, no, I'm busy. By the way, it's literally it's such a good vlog. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you go check out. No, the day before yesterday's. But don't look at my mascara. It's amazing. No, yes, tomorrow's is going to be good no, as well. No, the glacier one. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be amazing, true. I can't really wait for good. that. I can't, actually, great. I don't want it because that edit's going to be such a nightmare. It's going to be such a hard edit for you tonight. So much. Filled it over like 200 clips or something yesterday. Um. But what was I just about to say? Um, what was I, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, the, the, the chicken breast was something, two chicken breasts was like 14 pound in English money. I was like, for two oh, chicken wow. breasts? Well, I've mince. And even then the mince still cost me 11, 11 pound in English money. Anyway, stop moaning. We're in Norway, we're in Scandinavia. The prices are more expensive in the UK. We know this, don't mean I like it, but we know it. So, I feel a bit intimidated. Except for fuel, fuel is like the same. Yeah, it feels about the same, isn't it? Do you know how to do it? I'm going to do on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, then make sure you do. It's Sarah Ingham Official. Can you pop my page up? Yeah. I always expect you to do it, but you never ever do, so. I don't. No, I don't, yeah, I don't no you don't. You can never be bothered. It's just extra effort. <laughs> Sarah Ingham Official on Instagram. And I'm going to be doing mini vlog Mondays. Somebody, a few few of you guys missed that and was commenting on my mini vlog Monday that I did say, oh, can this be a weekly thing? I did so mention it last... mini vlog Monday. It's like mom. MVM. Mom, sort of. It's not, not a, really. It's not a you. It's yeah, a but sort of. It looks like a you wish, like a sharp you. You need so to get back like over there. Mom vlog. <laughs> no. Mini vlog Monday. Okay. MBM hashtag baby. Hashtag move. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing mini vlog Mondays because we don't film on Sundays. Or there'll be one day of the week. Sometimes we do film Sunday, but there'll be one day of the week we don't film to give Chris a, ba a break from editing so he can oh, actually yeah. go to bed at a decent time. Oh, yeah. And on that day, I do oh, yeah. mini vlog Mondays over on uh, my Instagram and I always upload it on a Monday. And I'm also going to be doing other things, like things I love about Norway, grocery prices in Norway, you guys give me some suggestions, cook with me and all sorts of stuff like that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for content like that. Right, how do I do this, babe? I feel a bit intimidated. What are you asking me for? Where's the instruction book? <laughs> Why can I not even find the on button? Oh, I've done it off. Why does it say off? Open. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Oh, it needs setting up, babe. I already feel intimidated. Butter bread things. Mm. 
yeah? Or diesel, or diesel heating. Just have to, you can take out the gas element of everything then, then you can, you're always going to be good anywhere you go. Okay, I've just prepared all or some of the veggies. We just gave the pressure cooker, um, what's it, what's it called? A like a, a test run with water. It says to do that if you want. You don't have to, but you can do. And then we need to release the pressure now, but Chris is too scared, he can't. You ready? I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me. Good job we've got that on. Oh, it's easy, that's all right. Easy peasy. That's so cool. Everything's going in. The mint is already browned, we've sauteed. This is promises to be very, very tasty indeed. The garlic, the onion and the peppers now going in. That looks like not very nice bit of garlic. So the end of it. Just gonna move that. Oh look at all that garlic. Yes, we're gonna smell divine. I'd really like to make like really cool ASMR videos of this cooking stuff, but with all not these kids in here, this is never gonna happen. <laughs> Time for the magic. That was unlocked. And then, pressure cooker. How was the time you're on? Three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. You're joking? Nope. Three minutes? Yep. <laughs> waiting for the little silver thing there to drop down. It did say to cook for three minutes once I put the pasta in, the raw pasta, which I felt like was such a short amount of time. So I did it for five because I did add quite a bit of pasta, but I'm not convinced this is going to be done. What do you think? After three minutes, five minutes, shall I say. Anyway, I've vented it and I'm just waiting for the little wait thing to drop down to show that I can take the lid off and then we're going to see if it's actually done. Sorry it's a bit loud because we've got the thing on up there. There we go. So now you can just go, you can just go. Oh I'm so scared, what if it looks, what if it's not done, what if I do something wrong? <laughs> Watch your hands, that's going to be really hot. All right, taste test. See if it's cooked or not. Cooked to me. We get a fork out. Oh, it's been scalding quite, isn't it? It smells good. Ow. Can't believe it cooks all the meat and everything that quickly. It's mad. It's good pass. Good. That's good. What do you think? It's really hot. Don't don't be don't be hard, man. The goose, he always does this and he goes, and then he sits and goes, <laughs> Don't do that because it's look at it's scolding. Alright, cool. Tough. Yeah, it's good that. It's good? Guys, you're joining us on the first, well, for me and the girls, washing up the first washing up of the sesh of the year. We have to wash it up, just not me and the girls. Yeah. Just not me and the girls. Have, just not me and the girls have done it. But they tried, they tried to get me to come by myself and do it. When I, ah, dad, they tried to get me to come by myself and do it, and then Mum ended up making them come with. Are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we ended up all coming together. Yay! Mum made them all come with us. I have to wash my own mug because then I was able to wash it. Oh, you have to wash your own mug? Yeah, she'll probably just spit in it. Oh, you have to wash it. I know. 
Everyone feel bad for Isla because she has to wash her own mug. Put a sound effect. A sound effect. Fuck a mic screen. <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. It's um, been emotional. We have found out that they are so prepared that they, in fact, if you've missed it, they have recently bought a new toilet. Right? That's how prepared they were. They've actually gone out and bought a new toilet for their van. Yeah, um, that happened on Instagram, if, if you missed it. So, yeah, it's, it's all going off over there, isn't it? I've, I hope you've appreciated the effort I've gone to. Um, you know, takes a lot to get through these, but I do it for you guys, obviously. <laughs> anyway, please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Um, what's the other one? Comment all your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Whatever you get up to tonight... Enjoy yourselves. Happy Valentine's Day again. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care and bye-bye.